Centripetal force. Things curve or spin all the time. Merry-go-rounds, race cars, the people in this video, everything. But it takes more than one force to move something in a circle. You also need centripetal force. Centripetal force is the name given to any force that pulls a body around a curve. Let's take a closer look at this. The girls in this video are running in a direction. There's nothing pulling them in a circle. So, they're moving in straight lines. Now let's see what happens if we connect them to an axis. The trapeze they're holding is showing centripetal force. They're being pulled around a circle. Look at how the people in the video are running. They are still running in a straight line and are being pulled by the centripetal force. The dark blue circles in this diagram represent the girl. The blue arrows in this diagram show the direction she's running. The red arrows are the centripetal force that keeps her curving. Centripetal force isn't that hard to calculate. All you have to do is take the mass of the body being pulled, multiply it by the velocity she's traveling at, multiply it by the velocity again, and divide the whole thing by the radius of the circle. Let's try this. Say the girl weighs 40 kilograms on Earth, and I'm just choosing that because it's an easy number. That means she has a mass of 40 kilograms. Now, the circle looks to be about 3 meters in radius, and it appears that people are moving with a velocity of about 2.5 meters per second. So we multiply 40 by 2.5 and by 2.5 again to get 250. Then we divide by 3 and we have our answer. The centripetal force in this scenario is roughly 83 and a third newtons.